Hello, hello, family, and welcome back to another Women's Wednesday Empowerment Session with God. It is yours truly. I'm your sister and your friend and Empowerment Life Coach, JC. And today I am coming to talk to you guys about uh, purpose. We're going to talk about destiny. But before we get into the message for today, I just want to let y'all know that I had a birthday on Monday. So show your girl some love. Okay. Monday, I had a birthday. Um, I just really spent time with my family, um, watched the movies, ate, okay, had a good little old dinner or whatever. And your girl just kind of chilled out, mellowed out, and just had an amazing day. Listen, there is so much that I can give God gratitude and thanks for. So my birthday just passed and I'm super, super, super duper excited about what God is doing in my life. Now, today's video, I will not be before you long. I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about destiny because it is time for the women of God to arise. It is time for the daughters of God to come forth. God has been giving me messages about this for some time now. And if I could be honest with you, talking about purpose, it's one of my favorite topics. It's one of my favorite things because for me personally, I feel like it was one of the hardest things to attain. So once I found out what my purpose was, I said, I got to give this to other people especially those of you who are new to the faith and you feel stuck or you feel like life is just life and you can't seem to figure out how to step into your future or destiny. Some of y'all might even see what um, God has spoke about you. You've gotten prophetic words, prophetic messages, but just really walking in your Jeremiah 29 and 11, you really have not seeing that come to pass. And what Jeremiah 29, 11 says is, for I know the plans that I have to, for you, thoughts of success or plans of success and not failure to give you a hope in an expected end. And some of you guys have not stepped into that hope. Some of you guys have not stepped into that plan. And so you're not going to arrive to the expected end until the end of your life, okay? God has a continuation of our purpose every day we wake up. If you choose not to step into your purpose, that is by choice. But God has a plan and a purpose for everything under the heavens. So I want you to put that in the comment section and say, God has a plan for everything under the heavens, okay? God did not create you. You were not born to just take up space. I know it look like my eye is black, y'all. I promise y'all. My eye is not black. Now, I'm human, so please forgive me for this little human moment I'm having. But in this camera lens, it does look like my eye is black on this side. But I guarantee you that is the lighting. My eye is not black on that side. And I'm steady trying to press in this left eyelash because she hanging a little bit by thread. I just got out of uh, church. And so your girl was worshiping and praising. And I should apply some glue to that left lash. But anyway. We're talking about purpose. We're talking about purpose. we talking about purpose. we talking about purpose. <laughs> we are dealing with purpose, okay? And so we're going to go ahead and get it in and pray. Father, we thank you, God, for this word tonight. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you that laughter does good like medicine. We thank you, God, for your sweet spirit. Now, I pray, Father God, let this word... Touch the life of your daughter, the daughter that has been searching, the daughter that has been praying and seeking you to step into the things that you have called her to step in, to walk forth and to do it unapologetically. God, I pray that your daughters will take the time to seek you, to, to know what it is that you have planned for them, to know what it is that you have ordained for them to do in the earth, Father. And I pray they would do it unapologetically. I pray that they would do it not afraid. I pray that they will walk fully into the things that you have called them to without wavering, without doubting, without questioning. Is this something that they have the ability to do? And, and may they be reminded that with you, all things are possible, but maybe by themselves, there will be some um, 
friction trying to do it alone. So I just pray right now for your daughter, the one who might be watching this. She might be new to the faith. She might have been thinking, been a Christian for a while, but new to the things of God. So I just pray for this daughter. I pray for my sister. And I ask you, God, that you will come in and transform her life with this word and this message today. In Jesus name, I pray and I give you glory and I welcome you in to take over and be Lord over this conversation. In Jesus name, I thank you and give you glory. It is so, amen. And so as we were talking about purpose before I started going all in about X, Y, and Z that didn't have nothing to do with today's message, but every now and then you gotta laugh. And if you know me in life and outside the all of this, I'm, I'm likewise just as goofy as I am on camera. And so, uh, it's probably a little worse, especially when it's time for me to go to bed. But anyway, let me know first and foremost, if you like to laugh. And if so, I think everybody do, unless you're just super serious and you just in your own dark little shadow somewhere in the corner. But if you anything like me, you like to laugh. Also, make sure you let me know how you doing and how you been. Listen, it's been a few days. I haven't talked to y'all in a while. And if I did post a video, I still feel like it's been too long. I am back and purpose is your portion. If you on this channel and you struggling with purpose, I don't want you to be on this channel and struggle with purpose. You won't be connected to me and keep staying, be able to stay in that place because God has equipped me to be able to be a midwife to those women who have been struggling to identify who they really are. Sis, it's time for you to figure out why God put you here. You can't tell me you went through all of that pain. You can't tell me you went through all of that suffering. You can't tell me that you experienced that heartbreak and, and, and it's not supposed to serve your purpose. The Bible says that all things work together for the good of them who love him and who are called according to his purpose. You are called, but but God want to move you from just being called to being chosen, to fulfilling your purpose, to walking in destiny. God never intended for you to stay in a place of pain and a place where you consistently just going through cycles of defeat and setback. God wants to change your story. In the words of Jacqueline Carr, y'all know that song, God is changing my story. Listen, God want to change your story. God wants to give you a story that can shift the life of other people. But he first got to get you to awake to who you are. And once you know who you are, you'll be able to, he'll connect you to him. And once you connect it to him, it's on from there. But as I tell all of my mentees, you first got to have a made up mind. You first got to have a willing mind. You first got to be in a position to want to soar beyond where you are. Because in order for you to step into destiny, you have to first surrender your, your who you currently are. In order to fulfill the new version of yourself, you got to surrender the old you. In order for you to step into a new place, what do they say? How can you, if you, if you, if you never do what you've never done, you will not get what you want. If you never do something new, you will not be able to see the new. If you keep doing things over and over, they say that that's called insanity when you continuously do the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. And so make a make a conscious, intentional decision. And when I mean intentional, I mean you are deliberate about your choice. You stepping into your destiny, you got to want that thing better than you want to breathe. You got to want that thing better than you want to eat. You got to want that thing better than you want to talk. You got to want that thing better than you want anything else. Because when you get that desperation in you, when you get that hunger in you, that hunger and thirst after God for his righteousness, when you get that hunger to seek the kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you when you get that hunger in you and that thirsting you for the things of God listen baby ain't nobody gonna be able to take that hunger out of you you're gonna become unstoppable everything around you is gonna be impacted everything around you is gonna take off everything around you gonna begin to catapult all because of the decision you made to God to walk in your freedom, to walk in your blessed place, to walk in your elevation, to receive the portion of the Lord called destiny, to receive your portion of the Lord called purpose, okay? And in order for you to tap in to the new version of you, you got to be willing. You got to be intentional. Your mind got to be made up. 
You got to have a hunger and thirst after that. And that's where that, uh, it, it, you know, all that pain and all that suffering should bring the dog out of you. Not the dog like a literal dog, but that dog out of you. Not a trifling dog, but that dog out of you that will say, I'm by any means necessary. I'm going to shrug my shoulders back and let's get to work. Come on now, let's get to work. See, when you chosen, when you chosen by God, listen, you can't escape this road. You can't escape this path. You can't escape this call. You can't escape the move of God. You can't escape what God got for you when you chose it. Listen, you're going to have to get to a place of desperation. Don't let this pain you feel. Don't let this, don't let this trials you keep experiencing be for nothing, sweetheart. Don't let the pain you feel and the sufferings you had to endure be for nothing. Don't you know that the Bible says that I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. So suffering is for glory. Suffering is for glory. The Bible says that Jesus had to suffer he had to go through in order for him to learn how to walk in the things that God had for him. He had to go through in order to be able to fulfill destiny, to fulfill purpose. He had to become the thing that he will break into all my curse breakers and all my chosen ones and all of the women of God on this channel that decided I'm rising up in my power. Listen, you got to become that thing you're going to end up breaking one day. You got to become the very thing that you're going to end up being a, 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 um, a giant slayer over. You got to become that thing that God is going to give you. He's going to give you the authority over. You got to become it first. And when you become it and when you surrender, God is going to then give you the fortitude and the authority to break it. And when you break it, you're going to become unstoppable. When he give you the authority, you're going to become unmovable. When he give you the anointing, you're going to begin to walk in your chosen place and take your seat as a chosen child of God. But you cannot do that. If you are too comfortable with conformality and familiarity, somebody put that in the uh, comment section. You cannot be comfortable with where you at. Sis, you got to be willing to rise up. You got to be willing to face fear. You got to be willing to be tired of sick. You got to be tired of being sick and tired. Listen, because only in that place, when you sick of it, you know how they say sick of it. I'm sick of it. When you sick of it and you come to the end of yourself and you say, you know what? I know he got something better for me. I know greater is in store. I know there is more for me than what I see. I know that greater is he that's within me than he that's in the world. I know. And you got to rise above all of this so that you can begin to walk in the bigger picture. You got to rise all of, uh, above the pain, above the hurt, above the disappointment, above your father not being in your life, above your mother not being there for you. She might have raised you, but she didn't pour into you the things that you felt like you needed to become a woman. You, 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 you might have been molested. You might have been, you might have went through uh, being sexually assaulted. You might have went through incest in your bloodline. You might have went through uh, um, um, of all of these things. You might have lost your houses, cars, and you might have not been able to hold a job. And you might not have been able to sustain things in your personal life. But when you surrender to the plan God have for you, see, he been talking to you all along. See, God ain't no halfway God. God ain't no God that that that's just talking to you when you when you finally decide to start following him. God is the type of God that even when he formed you in your mother's womb, like he told Jeremiah, I foreknew you. Bruh, I already knew you would be a prophet to the nations. You was in heaven with me before you ever touched your mother's womb. So I know you. I know you. And I was already talking to you, speaking over the word. I, I watched over you because the Bible says that God watches over his own word to perform it. So he watched over you 
while you were incubating in the womb of your mother, while you were just a seed incubating in the womb of your mother. God had already spoke over you. He already said what you would do before you were in there. And when you got in there, he kept watching over the word. You are the word. He spoke you into existence. How do you think you made it here? Because anything that God does, he does it with time. He does it with speed. He does it through commanding his authority. He, could, he does it through speaking a thing. When he started us in the beginning, he said, let there be, he spoke it. And just like the word in the beginning, the same word watching over you. He said, let there be a Clarissa. Let there be a Sha. Let there be a choice. Let there be a Sade. Let there be a Sandy. Let there be Tasha. Let there be Josie. Let there be, put your name in the comment and say, God told the earth, let there be. Let it be and it was so. You came forth out of the mouth of God. And when you were incubating in your mother's womb, he was steady watching over you. So now that you out the womb, he's still watching over you. You're not talking to no minute. You're not talking, we ain't talking about no mediocre, no God, no little G's. We talking about the God of the universe. We talking about the God over everything. We talking about the God of creation. We talking about the God of all nations. Yeah, he knew you and he predestined you for whatever purpose that you are supposed to walk in. And some of us get stuck because we study trying to look for something that's in us. Instead of going within, pulling away, taking time, surrendering our lives to Christ fully, not receiving him as Lord only, but surrendering. There's a difference. Making him Lord and Savior is two different things. You got to make him Lord. And that's where surrender comes in. When you say not my will, but your will be done. And I'm ready to walk in this thing. And I'm leaving my former life. Come on. And I'm walking into the newness of what you called me to do. And I'm laying the whole, I'm laying aside complacency. I'm laying aside the right to walk and waddle in this pity. I'm laying aside the old version of this girl that I don't really even like. Come on now. I don't even really like the fact that I can't hold a job. I don't really like the fact that I can't finish what I start. I don't really like the fact that I'm not walking in the fullness of who you made me to be. I don't really like that. I can't let my no be no and my yes be yes. I don't really like the fact that anything I say I'm going to do, I don't accomplish. I'm tired of being that girl and I'm ready to take hold of whatever it is that God has for me. I can't stay at this low level no more. Come on now, it's new levels. It's levels to this. But you got to start. God had already put it in you when he was forming you in heaven. He already ordained you when you were in heaven. Many of us walk around, I want to be ordained. And I was there before, so I ain't judging you. I want to be ordained. I want to be licensed. I don't know when it's going to come, Jesus. We we we. And the truth of the matter is that you got to be sold out to walk in, ordain, in the ordained place. Let God ordain you in the spirit. Remember, he already ordained you. So let that ordination take place in the spirit before you try to get it on paper. I don't know who needs to hear that. Because he first birthed you in the spirit before you were ever birthed in the natural circumstances, right? The spirit man is birthed first. The spiritual things are birthed first through you and then the natural things will follow. Okay? All right now, I ain't fussing. I'm just trying to give you some wisdom tonight because I want you to know it's already in you. And once you get tired and you come to the end of yourself and you say not my will and you say your will be done and you say I got a made up mind and you sick of going through where you at, you sick of being where you at, you tired of the pressure, you tired of that thing working against you and not for you, you tired of not walking in power, you sick of not walking in authority, you tired of feeling stuck, you tired of feeling broke, you tired of feeling down, you tired of feeling tapped out all the time, no energy, no life, no Christ. No peace, no joy, no Holy Ghost. Because it got to go beyond you just going beyond the four walls of the church every Sunday. But there's no transformation. Baby, it's time for you to wake up and rise. Because God got a call on you that's bigger than where you are. 
So in order to fulfill that thing, you're going to have to get, come up higher. You're going to have to meet God where he is. He's not going to come down where you at. Only time God going to meet you where you at is when he finna pull you up. Because he got to come and get you out of some stuff. Other than that, God ain't finna do it. He not. He going to tell you, come on up hither. So I can show you things that you haven't seen that you didn't know. I must show you things that you don't currently see, that you don't currently know. And even if I gave you a glimpse, you still don't know the depths of it until you come up higher. And you can't come up higher in the old mindset. You can't come up higher in the old version of you. So you got to drop that off and you're going to have to pick up a new version. You got to take up Christ. You got to renew your mind in the word. You have to pull away from social media. You have to spend 30 days plus doing, doing just you and Jesus in your prayer room and crying out to the father every single one of them 30 days. You gonna, It's either that or you're going to be stuck. It's either that or you're going to stay in comfort zone and you ain't going to see the promises of God manifest. It's either that or you're going to stay in this low to bar. You're going to stay in this low place. You're going to stay in this undelivered version of you. So make your pick your heart because either one of them is going to be a, it's going to be a sacrifice either way. So I need you to rise so you can fulfill somebody waiting on you. Somebody's waiting on you to answer this call. Somebody waiting on you to say yes to the father. Somebody's waiting on you to give him an unconditional yes. Okay. But the thing that you're called to do is already in you. You already really been doing it. It's just been layered on top of layers of unforgiveness. Uh, um, generational trauma. It's been layered on top of bitterness and, and you all the stuff that you haven't been healed from. It's, it's, it's packed in there. Once God heal you. Once God give you the authority to be set free, once you give him that yes, life as you know it is going to shift. I'm telling you what I live. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what God gave me. I'm telling you how he did me. I'm, I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom. I'm giving them to you. I might be relaying this message a certain way, but everything I'm saying is biblical. And so... It's your time. Purpose is calling you. Will you come out to see what it wants? Hmm? Will you come out to see what it's saying? Will you come out and go into yourself? Take time to spend time and ask the right questions in the presence of the Lord and say, I can't stay like this. I need you to shift me. Show me who I am. See, discovering your purpose is really about discovering who you are. Not your purpose. Not your purpose. We just say that because we know that's where we that's what we think. We're trying to discover it, we're trying to find it. But you really got to find you in order to attain it. And so it's not about discovering the purpose. Okay? It's about finding out who God created you to be in the earth realm so that you can walk in the fullness of God. And when you say yes, let me tell you, everything that was held up, everything that was held back, everything that was waiting on you, everything that he called you to walk in, you're going to start walking in it little by little. Ain't going to all flood on y'all at once, but you're going to start little by little. You're going to start seeing a change in the way that you move and do things. And I want to invite you. If you know that you need help and you say, I hear you, but I still feel like I can't do this by myself. I got you to every woman who's new in the faith, who's been in the faith, but you feel like you knew to really fully just walk in with God. You are you ready to walk with him for real? You new to that. Then I want to invite you to sign up because I have a free purpose masterclass. Um, on my website and you can click that and watch that. But for those of you who are ready to invest in yourself, I want you to sign up for my brand new Academy. I have a catapult to purpose Academy. And I want you to click the link in the description below and start your process of discovering your destiny. Now we have not fully launched it fully, but you can register today. So if that's you, 
Now, by the time if you're watching this, I don't know when, and it's later on, it might be launched and ready, depending on how far along that you, you know, are watching this video. So you could just click the link either way and just go ahead and register for the purpose of class, how to discover your purpose one-on-one. -on -one. And I want you to get in the class and you need to be in the room if you know that you're on the third trimester and it's time for you to push yourself out, push your destiny, push into your purpose. If that's you and you're new to the faith or emerging into the faith, you're a woman of faith, you're a woman of God, and you're just now starting out and you're ready, make that investment. It's only $87 to invest in. And you spend more than that on things that you ain't supposed to have, okay? And we can spend our money on whatever we want and things we want. How about using that money this season? Let this be your new year by investing into yourself, your start into your destiny, your lunch, into your purpose. And don't be alarmed if you press, if you um, invest in yourself and everything just starts shifting for you. Don't be alarmed. It's your season and your time for that. And I also want to say to you, once you do purchase the course and you do invest into yourself, again, remember the course itself has not fully launched yet. We will be launching the course very soon in this month of December. So you want to go ahead and secure your spot, secure your space. We have a Facebook community. So after you invest, then you will also get the link to join us on the Facebook community. And I love y'all so much with the love of Christ. Thank you for tuning in every single Women's Wednesday. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all of the comments. Those of y'all who've been down since day one, you watch all the videos, you watch them through, and and you just been a blessing back to me. Um, continue to pray my strength in the Lord. Pray that I continue on this journey. Pray that I'm not hindered. Pray that the Lord will continue to use this ministry to bring in women of God, to raise them up for such a time as this, so that they can step into everything he's called them to. Listen, Esther's, Deborah's, all of y'all, listen in the spirit. Listen, I need you to rise up. It's your season and your time, sis. Also, be sure to sign up for our new sisterhood that we have. Sign up for our new sisterhood and it's for women of faith. Um, and it's also for women of God who want to find a purpose. Listen, we do all of that inside of the sisterhood too. We encourage you, uplift you, make divine connections. Listen, you will experience transformation inside of this sisterhood as well. And you don't want to miss the every time that we upload through the sisterhood. The first month is free. And then after that, there is a fee, depending on where you start. 30 days after that, you will um, be charged on your whatever card information you put in. It will be charged. And so, but sign up. The cost of the starter, I think, is $17 a month. And then it goes up from there. You choose the package you want. And then it goes, It go, you can choose whatever one you want. But no matter which one you choose, there's different things in each package. But all of them are... 30 days free. So you want to go ahead and sign up for the sisterhood as well. Um, anything else, merchandise, t-shirts, soon upcoming stuff in the future. I'll release it when it's out. Um, and other things that is on my website, you want to go ahead and click the link in the description below. Sign up for any of my upcoming events. It's going to all be on my website, all of that. I love y'all with the love of Christ. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing y'all beautiful ladies or you can't see me. You can see me, but I can't see you unless you come in in the section and be like, hey girl, then I'm going to answer. I'm going to holler back at you. But I love y'all so much with the love of Christ and I'll see you sis in the next video. Bye-bye.